Hey guys, it's Mark from Modern Tech, and today we're going to modify the PlayStation Vita. Now, it's 2021, and you might be wondering why would anybody want to modify the PlayStation Vita? Well, this handheld console I've managed to pick up recently for about 20 to 30 pounds off one of my friends turns out to be a pretty amazing device that can play a lot of emulation. There's actually quite a lot of things you can do with a PlayStation Vita, and one of them is emulate. PSP PlayStation Portable with an app called Adrenaline which allows you to emulate the whole interface of a PlayStation Portable without it being a PlayStation Portable with it just being PS Vita so you can still play your PSP games, PS Vita games and you can also install RetroArch so you can play all your old emulator games like Sega Mega Drive, SNES, Pokemon, Mario, whatever you're gonna play it's just awesome this is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to do it so follow me step by step this is my first time doing it so if it's your first time doing it we're in it together let's crack at it right, now that the PlayStation Vita is on you want to actually go and check what firmware you are on so you go to settings then I'll go straight to system system information there you go I'm on 3.68 so that's not good enough we ideally want it to be well we don't ideally want it to be we have to have it onto 3.65 because we're on 3.68 we can't initially downgrade from 3.68 so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to upgrade so we're going to go back go to where's update i'm going to go to system update update using wi-fi or whatever method you prefer we want to update to 3.73 because once we get to 3.73 we can then downgrade from that version to the version we need yes now this might take a while so we're just going to let it go through the update process accept all terms and conditions etc when you go to your computer you want to download these programs i'm going to leave the links in the description so you can just easily download them and I'll explain what they all do. So the first one you want to download is something called QCMA, which lets your computer recognize the PlayStation Vita. So I'm going to download the EXE. The second one we download is called Enzo, which is going to be the permanent mod for the PlayStation Vita. So we want to download that VPK file. Third one, we're going to download Final HE, which is Final H Encore, and that's what we're going to use to run the jailbreak. Next one we're going to download is something called Oscal, I think it is, I can't really pronounce it. But this is supposed to trick your PlayStation Vita into thinking it's 3.73 once we've downgraded it. So we've downgraded it and it's going to be the latest version, this is what we're going to do anyway. Now we want to download both of these files, I'm going to download that and I'm going to download this. Now to downgrade our PlayStation Vita. This is what we're going to download. Mod Daru. I can't read that either. Mod Daru. Mod Daru. Mod Daru. <laughs> we're going to download Mod Daru. VPK. That's what we're getting. Now, the final thing we have to download is actually the official firmware for 3.65 from Sony themselves. So, here's the link for that. This one's actually 302 MB, so this might take a little bit longer than normal. There you go, it says an estimated 11 minutes, so it's going to be a bit quicker now. We'll just have to wait for these to download. Once all these are downloaded, they're going to go straight to your download folder, but I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop just to make things a little bit easier. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it Vita Mod Files just for the sake of it. I'm going to drag all these straight into the mod files. I'm going to actually extract this one. Ta -da. Another thing that we're going to have to do on our computer is once you get your Vita mod file or whatever you want to call it, you want to make sure you can see all hidden files. So you're going to go to options, which is in the view tab, go to the next view tab and it says show hidden files and you want to untick all of them boxes. You might get a message warning you about something, but just click yes. <laughs> just ignore it completely. 
and make sure all them are done click apply and you're ready to go i've already done it so i don't need to do it now the first thing we're going to install is going to be the qcma so we're going to just double click the exe boot that up we're going to select our language next i agree install it there yep qcma just go through the whole process and now we want to click run QCMA All right now that one's done so what we're gonna do next we're gonna find final HE so we've got our file here but we need to extract that um, I always use WinRAR to extract so extract files where do I want it I want it here yeah it's already in this file so yeah let's go open up that folder and I'm going to open up the final he.exe I'm going to allow access there we go now that we have our PSP on the firmware that we want we want to plug it into a USB lead and connect it to the computer Once it's connected to the computer, you want to click on Content Manager. And you want to click on Copy Content. There you go, our device is connected. Now we want to jump straight back to the computer. Connected to PSV at 3.73, that's ours. And we're going to want to click trim h encore and let's go this is going to download some packages it might take a while all right so now that we're back to our ps vita we want to jump to ps vita system and we want to go to applications we want to click ps vita and then there's h encore so we're going to click that i'm going to copy selected items will be copied to the system okay When the installation is complete, it's going to drop you straight back to the application setting. So we want to leave this, get rid of that, and we're going to look for HNCore, which is there. You might want to unplug your PSP for this stage, actually. So we want to go to HNCore, click Start. Can I control first? Do you want to continue? Yes. Just ignore that. There we go. Now we want to go to install Henkaku. That's a success. And we want to download Vita Shell. Success. Now we want to go to exit. All right. Well, there you go. There's Vita Shell. But first, we want to go and check on the settings just to make sure we've got Henkaku. So where's settings? There we go. Yep, there you go. Henkaku settings. And we want to enable unsafe homebrew. And go back. And close that off. We've got Henkaku working. We're going to go down to Vita Shell. We're going to open that up. And then we're going to click Start. Vita Shell is basically file manager for PS Vita, if anyone's aware of that, if you've ever done any Kodi stuff before, you should be familiar. There you go, now we're on to Vita Shell, we're going to find our USB lead and connect it up again. Turn it the wrong way around every single time. Alright, now it's connected. When it's connected, you want to press select to make sure it actually connects to your computer. There you go. USB connected. I'm back on the computer as you can see the PSV has now popped up as a USB drive so that's the whole main root of the PlayStation Vita so we want to go back to our original Vita mod file and we want to find da -da -da -da, Maduro VPK and we want to just drag that straight to the root. There you go that's now on there we have to jump back to the PS Vita. 
Now we're back to the PlayStation Vita. We want to click circle to cancel. And we want to go down to the UXO file. And go into that. And we want to scroll all the way down. So we find a Modaru VPK. And we want to install packages. Yes. Would you like to install? Yes, we do. And that's installed. So we want to jump out of this. Close it down. There you go, there's Modaru. Now with Modaru, we want to run it one time. Open it up, press start. There you go, that's done. Looks like it does nothing, but it's done. <laughs> Now we want to go back to Vita Shell, start, and we want to press select again to connect to our PC. And when we're back to our computer with our PS Vita connected, as you can see there, we want to go to our official firmware, which is the one we extracted earlier. We want to drag that PUP file back into our folder. There you go, we've got that. So now we want to go onto our PS Vita, our, sorry, our PS Vita folder in the hidden app folder, which is why we had to show hidden files. We want to go to Midoru, and right here, we want to drag in this 3.65 file for Midoru to downgrade. And then once that's done, we jump straight back to our PS Vita. Now that we're back to our Vita again, there's a lot of back and forth in this. We're going to leave this, we're going to unplug our cable, and this is where we're going to do the downgrade. We're going to get out of Vita Shell, and we want to click on Modoru. Or Modoru. And I want to click Start. If this message comes up, giving you nothing to do, you're just going to have to hold the power button to close down your PlayStation Vita. Power off and you're just going to restart it. Because we've restarted our PS Vita we're going to have to go down and open up HM Core again. I'm going to open it up I'm going to click start. You can earn trophies, do you want to continue? Yes. Normally what we're supposed to do you're supposed to go down to H Encore and open it up again, but for some reason, every time I click on H Encore, it keeps restarting the PS Vita. So I'm going to try and plug it in. Go back to content. I'm going to try and reinstall H Encore. See what that that does. I'm going to overwrite it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to see what happens if I try to open it now. See if this works. Fingers crossed. Can I earn trophies? Yes. Ooh, what was that? Pink screen. But <laughs> we're looking kind of good, I guess. I want to click exit. See if Modaru works for me now. Yeah, there we go. 3.73, target firmware 3.65. Yes, I'm going to X to confirm that. So it's going to continue in 20 seconds. Press X to accept these terms of installation. Yes, that's what I want. As you can see, this is probably going to be a long process. It's just going to go through the whole generic system update. I'll get back to you in a sec. Now that our update is finished, well our downgrade is finished, let's go and see if it actually works. Where is the settings? Open it up. System. System information. And there we go. 3.65. We successfully downgraded. Just to prevent any update messages that you may potentially get, I'm going to go for Wi-Fi. 
I'm gonna find our Wi-Fi that we're connected to. Go to advanced settings. And we wanna go for DNS and we wanna put it on manual. For the DNS settings, we wanna put 212.4.0.0. Yes, I'm reading this, by the way. I'm not going to remember this number. <laughs> 0.76. And then there we go. That's it. That should work perfectly fine. As you can see on the computer, our PS Vita is connected to our PS Vita. Now it says 3.65. I'm going to click Trim H Encore. I'm going to click Let's Go. All these packages are now installed. Now back on our device, we're going to go to PS Vita System, Applications, PS Vita. And now we're going to see H Encore again. And it's going to be in blue this time. So I'm going to click Copy. OK. When that's done, you want to go back to your um, main menu, scroll down, and you can see H Encore. You want to open up H Encore. Application, yes. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> so you want to open up H Encore, and if it doesn't work the first time you do it, you might want to hold R, and hopefully that works. Press start. Yes. There we go. Now we're in. And we're going to do the same thing as what we did last time. We're going to install Henkaku and Vita Shell. Oh, downloading failed. Let's try that again. Right, so that was a bit of a pain. I'm going to leave a link in the description for Vita Shell to manually download. To manually download it, all you have to do is go into your computer, go into your final HE folder, and drag both files, which I'm going to leave in the description, into that folder. Then you're going to have to boot up the applications again on your PS Vita, just like normal, and you find Vita Shell in there. So I'm going to click Copy. Okay. Once it's done, I'll jump on the computer, and I'll just show you where to drag the folders. This is the folder on the computer where you drag your two files that you've downloaded into. You got your Vita mod file, go into there, final H, and it's those two that I've just downloaded and dragged straight in there. You don't have to unzip them, you can just drag them in and then open up your final H Encore, click Trim H Encore, and let's go. That's what you've got to do to get that going. If you've got that problem, hopefully you don't, and hopefully you can install it the normal way, but good luck. There we go, <laughs> Vita Shell. That took me about half an hour, so that's why I did it off camera. But we've got it, it's there, it's bouncing, it's ready to go. So we're gonna open up H Encore again. I'm gonna open up Vita Shell, press start. I'm gonna try and hold R again, see if that works. Hey, that works. Now we want to press select to connect it to our computer and we'll be back at the PC. Now that we're back on the PC and we finally have our Vita open, we're going to go back to our Vita mod file and we're going to drag over the Enzo VPK. I'm going to drag that to the root. We can delete our old um, Modaroo VPK. We don't need that anymore. And we also want to go to the Thai folder which is also another hidden folder. And in that folder, we want to drag in these two OSCAL files. I cannot say it for life of me, but we're going to grab them both and we're going to drag them in. And then we are done with that. So we're going to go back to our PS Vita and press circle to disconnect. All right, so now we're finally practically at the end. So we're going to go to our PS Vita. We can unplug it because we don't 
need that plugged in anymore. Hopefully. I'm going to go down to the UX0. Scroll all the way down. And then we find our Enzo. Install the Enzo VPK. Yes, we want to install that. Yes. Go all the way back. Close this off. We don't need that. And there we go. We've got Enzo. Let's give that a run. Wow, that's small writing. Press circle to accept the terms. Yes. And it says press cross to reinstall or to install. There we go. The installation was complete successfully. Success. Press any key to reboot. Let's press X. There we go. We officially have a modded PS Vita. Well, we survived. We made it through this tedious process together, and now we've got custom firmware PlayStation Vita. <laughs> that was a bit of a pain, but we've done it. Congratulations to all you guys and myself. Now I've got to figure out how to tackle the SD to Vita card. I bought this from Gaming Outlet. I'll leave discount code in the description. This is a pre-built Vita card. It cost me about eight pounds. This goes into the game slot, not the memory card slot, but you can put in a memory card of any size you want. I've got a 32 gig in this, so I'm gonna stock it up with games and emulators. I hope you like this video, I hope to help you. If you do like this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments how you get on. I'll try and help you if you get stuck. And I hope it goes a lot easier for you than it did for me. So thanks for watching. It's Mark from Modern Tech.